Hey guys, welcome to God's Unchained with the Professor. Alright, in today's video, we're going to talk about card quality in God's Unchained and explain the difference between plain and shiny cards. So first of all, in God's Unchained, there are five different quality levels. You have the bottom tier, which are plain cards. You have meteorite cards, shadow cards, gold cards, and you have diamond at the highest tier or what some people call the shiniest card. For a plain card to convert or fuse up to become a meteorite, meteorite card, you need two copies of the plain card, spend some flux and gods. There's a cost table here on the bottom right. Once you have five meteorite copies of the card, you are then able to fuse up into a shadow version. Five shadows fuse up into a gold and five gold fuses up to a diamond. You are also able to buy different qualities of card directly or get lucky and pull different qualities in packs. So if you go to your collections and you group it by quality in the filter, you will see your plain cards. Plain cards are your free cards that you earn. These are all core cards. You earn these cards for free just for playing the game and leveling up and receiving a pack for every level. One thing to note about the core cards is they are locked. You can see a lock at the top middle of each card. What locked means is that these cards cannot be sold or traded. If you are interested in trading your free core cards, you will have to acquire two copies along with some flux and gods and then fuse these into a meteorite version. Meteorite shadow gold and diamond cards are tradable on the marketplace so here's an example of shiny cards shiny cards are meteorite shadow I don't have a gold pebbles but we do have a diamond one so reasons people would like a shiny card is that they like the way it looks they think that shiny cards look nicer also shiny cards can be argued to be more valuable as you can see, since it takes five meteorite for one shadow and five shadows for one gold, you could determine the cost and value of a higher shine card by looking at the lower quality cards and figuring out the cost of each card. Another factor for shiny cards is that they are immediately tradable. There is no fusing required. And there's also some additional sound effects when you play shiny cards in the game. For example, if you play a gold card, I know that when you summon a gold creature, you could hear an audible clang sound, sort of like a hammer hitting something metallic. And finally, with Daily Play to Earn Now Live, shiny cards have an added value where having shiny cards in your deck increases your deck modifier, which factors in into calculating your daily earnings. You can see that a plain deck, basically all core cards, doesn't really get much of a boost here. However, if you have 30 cards which are meteorite, you get an immediate 15% boost to your daily earnings. And then so on and so forth on these graphs showing how much an all diamond deck gets a bonus on their modifier for daily earnings. All right, so that explains card quality in Gods Unchained. Hopefully you have an understanding of what the shiny cards are now and why you would want or need them. What's your favorite shine level? What cards do you like to be shiny? Let me know in the comments. See you all later.